Alright, so good morning everyone. Welcome back to another day of Fargo's Soul Mod. I got a comment on the last episode that said, I forgot to turn down my speaker. So everyone in the house heard, alright, so? And I think that's kind of funny. You know what? There are probably worse things to come out of the speaker. But that one is a little bit jarring. Uh, it's better than Terraria Enthusiasts, which is a good intro. It's a classic. But the hello part at the start, I used to get a lot of complaints about that. Very loud intro. But yeah, welcome back. Today it is Sunday. We didn't record yesterday. So that means you have to let me know how you spend your Saturday. Was it a good Saturday? I had a good Saturday. It was, yeah, it was decent. Courtney went and got a haircut. She was feeling really good about that because, like me, she also had to wait a very long time. Uh, we did some housing stuff. We bought some housing stuff. It was a good day. It was nice. I'm enjoying having um, a set day off in the week, and I think it might just continually be Saturday now. But yeah, we're back for part two of the Skeletron Saga. So somebody left me a really good comment on how the final phase works, or the final phase that we've seen with the Ring of Skulls. Apparently, while it's growling, the AI is picking where you are. So say it goes, and you're stood here. That was awful. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I apologize for that growl. Um, the skulls will fly this way, and if you can stay in a similar spot, then you'll avoid it. But they said, if the skull is spinning, try and move up and down. So, cheers for that. I'm going to try and remember that. Just like the, the tip we got for Queen Bee, I think it's one of those things that we'll pick up in practice. So, there has been a lot of chatter about permanent buffs, which is something I did not realize. So, apparently, one of the features of the Fargo mod, I don't know which one, because this is it's made up of a lot of different mods, all by Mr. Fargo Man himself. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, there's a, a thing called a permanent buff, and you need uh, 60 of a certain buff, and then you get it permanently. Kind of like, I don't know if people re will remember this, but there were permanent buffs in uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for zombie mode. And um, I'm assuming it's kind of like that. Anyway, right. Here's the thing. Buffs are really expensive, so I'm going to need to do some farming today. But I was wondering if we could maybe test it out. So for 60 of these, I'd need 30 gold, for example. Yeah, I don't, I don't have the moolah. So because we're starting today's episode in the daytime, I thought I could just do some farming, get this part out of the way, and, um, and then become rich beyond my wildest dreams. The good thing about this, honestly, is that once I'm committed to, um, to these buffs... The good thing is we're going to save so much money throughout the Let's Play, and in turn, we'll just do better in general. And I, I think that's great. I'm trying to think of, of what weapon to use. See, here's the thing. We've got these poison darts, and we need to make sure that we don't run out of these today. Um, but it, it, it basically means, look, if we run out, we've got to go do farming um, in the jungle. Okay. I don't know why I struggled to get that out. Um, <laughs> I don't know at all. So, I want to recommend a good movie that I watched last night. Me and Courtney were, like, intrigued by this, and I think it was great. I'm assuming that probably a lot of people have seen it, but if you haven't seen it yet, I want to recommend the film Knives Out. It is a whodunit murder mystery, and it's great. It's fantastic. I've seen so many whodunits in my time in Britain. 90% of, of the shows that are made are, are whodunit murder mysteries. Like, it's very common in Britain to come into the living room and your mum or your dad is watching, like, I can't remember the name of one of them. Frost? Murder, She Wrote? All that. The, what's the one about the, the place where everybody dies? What's that place where it's like a, a certain town and all these murders always happen there? I can't remember for the life of me what it's called, but it's very famous, all right? Luther, I don't know. Luther's probably not a who's done it. But anyway, it's a really good film. And I want to recommend it a lot. It's, it's very good. I really enjoyed it. Um, was there any other recommendations I wanted to make? Not really. Nah, not really. I, th I, think, I think that's probably about it. If you haven't checked out Solar Opposites yet, I want to, I want to recommend that as well. Me and Courtney have been saying that we've been enjoying Solar Opposites more than recent Rick and Morty. And I feel really bad about that. Because I am like, I'm a big Rick and Morty fan. I am. I'm an, I'm an OG. I, I'm not a Szechuan source lover or anything like that. But it's a good show. It's a good show. I like a good animated uh, TV show for adults, you know? Th that's my recommendation. 
Oh, okay. All right. Something I did want to bring up is one of the projects I've been working on now has um, a bit of a completion date, which I'm really excited about. So it should be done in about three weeks, I want to say. Maybe middle of May. And it's not a video. All right. It's not a video I've been working on, but it is something big. And it's been worked on for a really long time. And I really can't wait for, for people to see what it is. But I'm excited because we, we have the completion date now and, and that's awesome. But that's, yeah, that's that's just a little tease, you know. There are videos in the works, but <laughs> this one's better than a video. Oh, oh, okay, you can actually do this. I was wondering if you could maybe um, spawn in multiple bosses at the same time to make farming just go quicker. You can. I don't know if this was a good idea, but at least we know. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> All right, yeah, this was a terrible idea. This is a really bad idea. <laughs> I don't know why I did this. I was just like, man, I'm sick of farming out. I was like, I'll buy 10 and commit to, to farming out 10 of them. This was dumb. <laughs> this is really dumb. Why, why did I do this? Oh my God. All right, yeah, this is a really bad idea. Oh God. <laughs> I wasted so much gold. Oh no. All right, here's what I was thinking. I was like, I'm smashing these. I'm smashing these so quickly. I'll be able to do it. Not quite. Not quite, James. Why, why, <laughs> why'd you do that? Why was that a thing? I tell you what, I will do multiple, but maybe I'll just do, I'll commit to two. Cause it does take a long time to do these little like things. I can't believe it. I just wasted like 50 gold. <laughs> I'm only here to farm money. Like <laughs> what? Okay, right. Bam, bam. All right, let's see if I can at least do two. So, I will admit, with the massive blunder that was 10 king slimes, uh, we don't actually have that much money, alright? I, I, I didn't farm very well. Uh, I think a good thing to do would probably be uh, get out all of these, so all the ones that uh, that I already have access to, basically, and then, um, and then build them out. I know full well, though, this is going to annoy people a little bit. I know what people are like, because people are going to be like, James, I'm sick of seeing you have... 100 potions in your inventory. So we're just double checking real quick if... Right, okay, yeah, okay. I was checking... I went a bit blank. Uh, what I was checking is to see if having only uh, 30 would give you the permanent buff. So there you go. 60, you get a permanent buff, which is regeneration. Swiftness is a lot cheaper. So I can't afford to, to get any more. So what I'm going to do is just leave it at that for now. And then we'll come back in a little minute and uh, and we'll do the rest. Right, so, Thanos Skeletron, that's right. Uh, we're going to do one together, like a full one together, mainly because I know a lot of people, uh, you know, dip and weave in this Let's Play, which is understandable, right? Everybody everybody does. And in every Let's Play I make, people have to dip and weave, which in reality is because of the fact that, um, that not everybody's got time to watch a 20-minute video every day. And it's understandable. If you're a dipper and a weaver, you're still loved around here. Still couch gang. Okay, right. I, I want to grab shiny boys. Um, so this is even better to see. Right. Let's begin. Okay. So we're also going to treat this as the warm-up. Mainly because of the fact that, um... Hey, it's been um, a day or two. And this is a hard version of Terraria. And to be honest, I'm probably going to get overwhelmed. Oh yeah, this needs to go that way. All right. I already remember that phase. But it's true, though. You, you take a day or two off of, of a game, I think you lose a little bit of skill. Hey, you may not lose, you know, what's the crafting recipe for a blade of grass, which I actually don't know off the top of my head. But you may, you don't lose, like, general knowledge, but you do lose a little bit of um, the finesse that comes with movement, you know? Okay, so let's do these skulls real quick. I think there was something else I wanted to talk about, but I actually can't remember what it was. I always think ahead. Like, <laughs> well, I try to normally. Something will happen and I'm like, oh, I can I can bring that up. I can bring that up in a, in a video later on. Oh, here's one thing, which is kind of cool. Because um, shops have now opened and me and Courtney got to do some, some home shopping, I have actually seen what I think will be the real-life Chippy's Couch. So for those that don't know, the history of Chippy's Couch is this. When I started Chippy's Couch, the name came from the fact that I think watching a Let's Play is kind of like how I used to watch my friend play a game on the TV as a kid. So you'd sit on the couch together and you'd both play a game and... I don't know, it reminds me of that. That's where it came from. But when I started the channel, I didn't own a couch because I was... I was I was a teen. One sec. Alright, so it wants to come this way. Alright, okay, I'm trying to figure it out. 
So the only thing with this is, they fly the way... Oh god, no, this is really bad. So I'm trying to wrap my head around it. I got too overwhelmed with the couch. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Flying up and down might actually work. No, it doesn't. Right. Let me think about this. See, I know how it works, but my my mind won't do it. Do you know what I mean? Okay, anyway. Chippy's couch. History. Didn't own a couch. But I knew what kind of couch I had in mind because I like I like the color gray and I like the accent color red. So I, I told the artist, I was like, I drew it up. The original Chippy's couch. And I told the artist, I was like, right, these are the color schemes. Can you work with this? And he was like, yeah, sure. So that's where Chippy's couch came from. Anyway, so it's never a real couch. But I've worked and I've strived to be able to, to fathom the real couch. So I am getting a real Chippy's couch. But it won't look identical to the couch at all. It has to be smaller. Mainly because I'm not putting this couch in my living room. I already, like, I already now own a couch. <laughs> it's a nice couch, to be fair. So it's, it's a good couch, but yeah, I, I want to have one in my office. Mainly so that whenever I have people around, they can sit somewhere in my office. Because right now, my office is just kind of used for me filming videos. It's a good room in the house right now. But I mean, in the new house, it's a bigger office. So I want to get more use out of it. I want it to be a gathering point, you know? So there's, there's got to be a real life Chippy's couch. And I think I've seen it and I think I know which one I want. All right, there's the story. Now let's focus on the fight. So I know the, the pattern now about the skulls with the growl and everything, but I almost feel like I can't do it, mainly because standing still in this fight or standing relatively still is guaranteed that you're going to get smacked around by those skulls. Do you know which ones I mean? So I almost feel like we've got to... Yeah, I... I yeah, I, I think we're going to move around. I think moving up and down is probably the best. I might try move in a circle. I might see if that works. Does he, does he shoot out the bony skulls during the phase when it's just his head? Because if he doesn't... Oh, no, no! Oh, Christ! Oh, God. All right. So, I think what I'm gonna do is change out this one for this one. So, we're just moving accessories over, basically. So that I have a little bit of protection in the fight. So, this is the, the accessory that gives extra max life and you get the, the little summons around you. And I'm hoping that helps. It might help. All right. Let's buff up. Let's begin. Let's make that over there. Let's stick up one of these. These don't really do too much, but I just kind of like having them. All right. So I think for this fight, I'll be silent for now. And I'll bring it back when we get to the crazy phase. But yeah, if I can just stay calm and let my creepers build up in this phase and, and not take too much damage, I think this might actually be like a really awesome change. Well, hopefully. I know that the beefing was doing something for me, but I can't remember exactly what it was doing. So therefore, I'm like, well, you know, I could I could kind of avoid it. Whereas like with the demon scythes, I see the demon scythes constantly do loads of damage. So I do really like those. They're awesome. You remember how I said it'd be silent for this fight? I lied. <laughs> can't seem to be quiet. You know me? When I'm on a roll, I'm on a roll. All right. I'm going to definitely take away one hand before the other. I know I am. The only thing with these little creepers is I, I don't believe they, they heal. It'd be really overpowered if they could heal, but still really awesome for us. Do you know what I mean? If you could, like, whenever you heal, they healed. <laughs> you could give them 100 life, for example, like, right at the end. Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> I'd definitely be down for that. So I think, I, I don't know if, it's, if it is any different, but I feel like I'm doing less damage in general. You know, these, maybe it's the... Maybe it's the summon, to be honest. Maybe I've, I've not been targeting the summon right. Yeah, let me put that on there. So I don't know if the, the, the little Queen Bee tongue thing is, is having too big of a difference, basically. Okay, that hand still hasn't gone. So I think I am dealing less damage in a way. I just, I just don't, I actually don't know how. Come on, hand. Please. Come on. <laughs> hand. Please. <laughs> there we go. All right. Finally, the hand is gone. So now we just need to, to focus on the skull. And whenever it fires, it's... Uh... Alright, so we know how to deal with this phase. <laughs> this phase is good. Now it's a race to the end. Okay, I think I kind of get where the skulls go now. Alright, I think I kind of get it. Alright, I'm going to go back this way. Alright, I did that wrong, basically. But that's alright. Just got to be careful, because when it spins, it's like you've actually just got to avoid so much more. So now we have skulls, and we have the... Okay, fly up. There we go. Right. Fly up. There we go. All right, we want to go back that way. Okay, so we managed to avoid that. We want to work our way through here. 
Okay. Oh, God. It's too close. I don't want to be this close to it when it's like this. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. I'm really just hoping I can... Oh, God. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm just saying, oh, God, over and over again. But, hey, what's new? What's new? What? Oh, God. Oh, no. I can't even help it. I'm not even memeing. What? I don't know what happened there. I think, I, I think my brain melted. All right. So, we are coming back into... Well, we are in the, the school phase. So, this time, my goal is, I would say, from what I've learned... Is, is don't let your brain melt like ice cream in the sun. All right? That's, that's the plan. We're just going to keep it chill. We're going to keep it cool. Um, you know what? Getting hit by the skulls, the, the tiny skulls, is not as bad as getting hit by everything else. So I think what I'll do is I will, you know, sacrifice a couple of hits every now and again. I thought I had the this phase kind of figured out, but I, I actually don't think I do. I think I was just more winging it before. All right. When this aligns, it aligns well. I'll say that. All right, jump up when that happens. I think if maybe we can just avoid, um, you know, 60% of the shots from that phase, I think we'll be okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, we don't have to dodge that phase perfectly to, to kind of get by. All right, we've synced this up well. Okay, this is good. I think the hardest part about this fight is, is flipping over Skeletron, moving past him, is actually really difficult. It's actually a lot harder than I, I always think it's going to be. Because he kind of moves in your way. He's like, oh, you want, you want to get past? No way. I need that lunch money. Hell no. You ain't getting it today. I'm, I'm having, I don't know. What did I used to have for lunch at school? This is what I used to eat every day, I'm pretty sure. It was like a cheese and ham baguette. I'd get a smoothie. What else I used to get? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my. No. No. Oh, come on. Come on. I was talking about smoothies. <laughs> I forgot it had a stupid final phase. I tell you what, though. The final phase is better than it used to be. But still annoying. Oh, my. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. I should get used to saying, oh, my word. Oh, my word. That was annoying. So what it does is it basically stun locks you by having too much around you. Well played. Touche. Skeletron. My man, let's do it again. All right, so coming into the final phase again. Skeletron, if you pull that thing again, I'm going to be so annoyed, please. All right, we're just going to keep as much health as possible. Well, actually, it's more about aim with this now that I think about it. Like, it's about having distance and aim because it's going to be super fast. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> I almost got close to it because I thought it was dead. Oh, my. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. All right. Oh my word. Necromatic Brew grants immunity to Lethargic. Summons two Skeletron arms to whack foes. Here we go. I love these arms. I do. Tell you what I'll do is I'll turn that off and put that on. We got dungeon crates. We got a bag as well. So I have... I was meant to be saving these bags. I apologize, but I've been opening them and selling them. Because I haven't got... Uh, I just haven't got the, the stuff to kind of keep it around. Oh! I, do you know what? I didn't even think about this. Because we've been so distracted by actual Skeletron. I didn't even think about the fact that that we can now do the dungeon. It's wild that this is pretty hard mode. And I'm having this much stupid fun. I love this mod. And I love this Let's Play. I really do. So, um, I think I've got another attempt in me today. I might just quickly... I'll pop out another one. See if I can beat it. I mean, it's still really hard. <laughs> so... So I might struggle, but I'm going to quickly do it again uh, and see if we can get uh, the weapon. I don't actually know what the weapon's called, so I don't know. I might not react. <laughs> I might be like, ah, all right. I don't know what the weapon is in all honesty. I can't remember. Um, not a clue. I don't even know if we got it. I, I, It's funny because I think what I prioritized, if I remember right, this is just an assumption. I think I prioritized the cool accessories over the weapons in the, the first Let's Play we did. I don't think I ever bothered to, to farm specifically for uh, four weapons, which is kind of interesting. So which which debuff is lethargic? Is lethargic, um, sounds like you move slow. I feel lethargic on most days, actually. <laughs> don't need the debuff in Terraria. So I do really like this um, attack, by the way. I really like Skeletron's hands. It's not as good as the Demon Scythe for me. 
in this scenario. You know, in this scenario, you want the demon scythes because it's running, you're running, it's it's chef's kiss. It's chef's kiss. But, um, but yeah, this is, it's cool for, like, close combat, say you're actually in the dungeon. Can we all just acknowledge, can we all take a moment to just say how fun this series is? <laughs> like, it actually is so fun. I, I... I think I just really like having a challenge in my Let's Plays. I think that's it. I think I enjoy... Well, I'll say this. I'll say this. It, it's interesting because the Chicken Run Let's Play was good, even though it was easy. But I think I'm definitely like... I lean towards more of a challenge. Because I like the fun of progression in that sense. It's not even like I like being stressed out or playing super hard games. But I think it just breaks it up a little bit from the regular Terraria. You know what I mean? Because I don't play a lot of super hard games in my life in general. And I'm not very good at a lot of games. Crash Bandicoot, for example. Pretty hard game. I just really struggled to beat that game. Okay, right. I probably shouldn't have covered this whole fight. This guy have already done it. Alright, so I'll be quiet for a little bit and try and focus. Alright, so I died. Uh, I think I'll probably wrap up the episode there. So we'll get, we'll get that weapon tomorrow. But that was a lot of fun. I... I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm like having fun. And I love that because it makes, um, it makes, <laughs> this is a bad thing to say, but often I'll squeeze this, like, recording this in, like, I'll push other stuff aside just because I want to sit down and record Chippy's count, <laughs> and it makes it, like, even more satisfying to do that. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> there are bigger projects I should work on, but this is too good. It's too much fun. Right, so that about does it for today's episode. Thank you for a, a fantastic week, everyone. New week starts tomorrow. Very exciting. Um, thank you a lot for checking out the, the extra bonus video we had this week as well with the, the game Evenhood. It was awesome. It's been a good week. It's been a really good week. Um, but yeah, all starts again tomorrow. So that about does it for today's episode. See you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>